Hey guys, it's Dr. Curvy here and we're back with another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the differences that I noticed between support and baron lane. Swapping roles. So let's uh, give a breakdown of what's happening and why I'm doing this. But before that, um, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe uh, and hit the notification bell for more Wilder videos, you know, because why not? I, I mostly do skin videos. Um, but as a side thing, when there's no new content, I just do <laughs> gameplay videos of my ranked games, etc, etc. You know, like a podcast with gameplay in the background. But let's talk about why I'm swapping from support to Baron Lane. But like, what gave me the idea of it? Let's break it down. So when... I just thought, to be honest, I honestly thought to be just a challenge. You know, let me just challenge myself, see if I can go... Uh, in, like climb an e a rank at least or something as you can see I'm fighting the Nasus over here He hit the ignite. It's ticking. It's ticking. It's ticking. Unfortunately, he didn't get the uh, What's that word the honey fruit? So yeah, I was thinking maybe I can reach master or maybe GM as a uh, Baron Lander, but that's gonna be tough <laughs> and Because because if it took me 250 matches to reach master Especially when I started late in the season, so I only had like a small window of playing to get to master. Imagine starting at the season now till the end of the season. <laughs> I have like 60 days, 90 days for reaching master or even GM, but with the with the more basic knowledge of a role. So that's what I wanted to try maybe this season and maybe climb. And I my secondary is Baron Lane, so maybe I do love... Bar uh, a Baron Lane a lot. If you guys want some background, I used to play a lot of Quintop back in PC. I played a lot of Aurelia before her rework, which is like 2014, 2015, 2016. <clears throat> I think she was reworked in 2018. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I also dabbled with like Fiora, obviously, uh, and stuff. But this is the game, but Wild Rift is the game now where I kind of like. Deep, dive deeper into the role, you know, because I tried champions for the first time that I never tried on PC Like Gwen, Kale, Camille. Camille is the a recent pickup that I tried because I recently got her skin uh, The... what's that? What's that skin? The arcane skin? I forgot. Oh my gosh, I forgot the words um, Stargazer uh, uh, Camille. That's the skin I, I got which is great because now I don't have to get the uh, Camille one for Lunar New Year, a myth maker. So that's great. So I was like, why not? Perfect timing. I got her skin and now I can test her. She is very strong, but there is a lot of mechanics that I don't know with a champion in Baron Lane. Hear me out. So when you play Darkbreaker, you know he knows the shit. You know, he knows what he's gonna do. You know, I don't. I'm like, whoa. I'm like, so confused. Like, look at this play here. I'm like, I. There's more knowledge that you need to know like wave management you know it's different now you know it's a different lane you're you're i was literally there at dragon lane now i'm here at the bottom you know like that's crazy everything is different etc and the champion you're facing is different that you've never really faced a lot of times so that's another thing to recognize like index knowledge and stuff as you can see here i'm trying to do a minion wave here the reason why is because nasus needs to stack so i need to do a slow push to let him kill the thing, the so he doesn't get minions, which is smart. And he made a mistake by recalling. Um, so there's some there's some tips that I know from a champion perspective based on what I've learned from PC. But I'm sure there's a but I don't know the champions. It's stuff like I like I maybe I don't know some secrets with Aurelia. I did a thing with Aurelia that I really like. I don't know if it's in this gameplay though. Um, but yeah, I need to do more understanding and watching a lot of content. And this is the part where we go through what content creators am I gonna be watching to educate myself. Um, do you guys have any recommendations of Baron Laners for me to watch? Um, hold up, let me just... yeah. Uh, is it working? Okay. <laughs> let me uh, le leave some recommendations of any Baron Laners that um, I should be watching to understand more any educative content. I have seen like three or four content creators that are like one tricks but i want more like a general baron laner i think a general baron laner could be dark breaker but you know you know um yeah um another uh there's three that i've seen recently there's this player that randomly came on my feed talented person with his um uh tip videos like how to win lane i'm like wow better content than me okay 
Um, well, I'm not really that good of an educated person, so you know, I don't. Ha I, I can. I can say that. Um, his name is Strider. Strider. He's from the UK. He got a UK accent. I think he's from the north. I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to say that. Uh, I don't want to make assumptions. Um, but ooh, I hit my ultimate. Disarm. But anyway, yes, Strider. He's a really good guy. Like he he gave a video like how to win lane early with this champion, and it was Renekton because you know Renekton is a really strong hero in the early lane. You know he, that's why he's annoying. The only way that can counter him is like rage. But anyway, so yeah, there's Strider, talented. His videos are great. He said, "I love." I don't know how YouTube. <laughs> this is a random thing. I don't know how YouTube analyzes his videos. Like that, that's a lot of views. Very talented. Uh, player and good job on the YouTube algorithm thing. <laughs> um, another player that I watch, and I'm pretty sure you guys know who this is, is Jay Long. He's a Korean um, Irelia one trick, and that's why I played Irelia because in honor of him. And he's very good. I wonder if he's a good Irelia on PC. I wouldn't know that. Um, if you don't know who he is, he's an Irelia uh, Wild Rift player who streams on 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 YouTube and Twitch. I think he multi streams. Which I was thinking of doing, but you know, we'll get to that later on. If you guys want me to stream on Twitch and YouTube. But anyway. He has a lot of good plays. I love his compilations. Very talented, talented, talented. He knows his damage. When he fights, if if if, he, if this was Jay Long, he would have killed this um uh, uh I was gonna say Zongli. <laughs> Zin Zhao by now, but he didn't. But I didn't, unfortunately. So yeah, he's great. Another one uh creator is Arthur. <laughs> Arthur X? No, not Arthur X. Or I think it's Atrocity. I don't know what's his name. Arthur with an X. He is a set and Darius one trick, which is two tricks, which is also cool. You know that should I I that's one of the things I want to aspire to be like a two tricker. Um, I don't know who because I'm still in the experimental phase of like picking champions and stuff so there's that um i don't know what else to watch maybe by the time i watch more baron lane videos or champion specific videos through that lane i might get a pop-up because i've noticed the youtube the youtube recommendation system is getting a little good like i can see videos like nine days ago 300 views from something that i watched but they don't have a bigger audience it just recommended it like that so, you know, that's great. Maybe my rec videos will get recommended like that as well. But I digress. Um, now let's talk about... Oh, my voice cracked. <laughs> my voice cracked. Um, now let's talk about the champion pool that I have. So I mentioned earlier that I've been dabbling with Irelia, Fio uh, Irelia and Fiora. Another champion is Gwen, Camille. Camille, I need to get good. There's something hidden with Camille. I feel like I need to get good at Camille before she gets a nerf because her damage is so high and I need to get used to her skill wise so that when she gets nerfed I'm like it's nothing you know um those are the four champions and uh, that I want to get a grasp on and I know they're all girls you know but there is some good champions too that are male like Jarvin I tried Jarvin top very nice very underrated I think he can win any matchup except maybe like an Aatrox or a Garen or a Darius because he doesn't really have that damage, that crazy damage that, you know, Garen has with his spin and silence and then the the shield, uh, the, the, the second skill with the uh, defenses up. So yeah, um, who else? Shen, great. Uh, Nasus is died. I get dived here. <laughs> I know this. Oh, I'm popping it up, popping it up. Shout out to my trio. My duo, the um, the Lulu and my Vayne are my uh, duo, a trio. Uh, they're really good. Um, they, the the that Lulu is better than me, and I feel sad. <laughs> um, that Lulu peaked a GM the last season, and I didn't, unfortunately. Rip. See, you can you can climb rank as a support to GM. The question is, can I make it to? GM as a Baron laner, you know, uh, having a support background like that. Like, the confidence I have in support is what is what I want in my Baron lane, so... I don't know. Um, but... Uh, I know I 
mentioned this in a Reddit post already. If you haven't seen that Reddit post, uh, I asked the question, I'm lane swapping, what should I do? What champion should I play? Any tips and tricks? They did. They did. A, they gave a lot of great advice, and I really appreciated that. As always, from the Reddit community, which is great, and I love that. So I'm gonna take it into consideration, step by step. You know, step by step, meaning like let's let's trial a few champions first, and then build up that mechanic understanding from a champion, and then the laning, and then the map. You know, thank God I was a support main at first before swapping because my map awareness is still peak. You know. The thing I'm not used to, this is the thing that boggles my mind, and I'm pretty sure every support main could agree with this, maybe, if you're a support main watching, uh, comment below. This is a messy fight. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I'm popping, I'm popping. I'm popping and I died. <laughs> um, any support main can relate to this. It's hard to 1v1. Hear me out, because you're a support main, right? You, I think I mentioned this earlier. It's hard to feel that fantasy, you know? You know, I, as much as I love 1v1 scenes in movies, when you're doing it on your own, it sucks. So, yeah, that's that's one of the major things that I want to achieve. I've had moments like that today in my games where I'm like, oh, I beat him. First blood. But some, most of the times I don't. But when I do, it's a slow step to understanding more of the champion, the matchup, like when to go in, when to go out, when to stand back. So, yeah. yeah and Baron Lane is great because there's more variety in my roles. You have no idea how I managed eight or seven seasons of just support and didn't get bored. What about now? I started barely now. As you can see, I ulted over here. I tried catching that um, thing. It's. I'm surprised I lived there. Okay. Oh, he died. I didn't even see that. The one thing I noticed also, another thing I noticed aside from, you know, 1v1 potential is itemization. If you guys know me, I love those build videos I did, obviously. I know it's not popular on my channel, but you've seen, most of y'all seen it, or some of y'all. And the thing here with the new, you know, role, new items. I don't know. I know what Bork does in all Triforce, but like when to get it and when to grasp it is confusing me. I am still confused. Like whatever matchup I'm facing, I'll be like, okay, am I going to be Divine Sunder today? Am I going to be Bork today? Am I going to be Triforce? I feel like those are the Ardent Sensors. <laughs> Or the Staff of Flowing Water, or the Harmonic Echoes, or, you know, those are the items. And there's no more, you know, support items. So, I'm packed. And I have to farm myself. I forgot about that. Farming. Um, I'm not a bad farmer, you know, but can kind of get lost in the moment of fighting more than farming. And that's the kind of imbalance that I'm having trouble getting used to. Maybe. Um, hopefully, everything will be better in the future. But like I said, I'm excited for this journey, and that doesn't mean I'm stop. I'm gonna stop be make what English. I'm gonna stop making support videos. Obviously, I'll play support when there's a good thing to talk about in that support role. Um, we'll make a video. The next video I want to make in support is Nami. I just got her support skin. Um, I was gonna. I thought that was the up video today, but the one I was gonna spectate wasn't me, and he wasn't wearing the Nami skin, so I made a mistake. I'm gonna just do it myself when I get the time to play support, but it's gonna be so weird, you know? It's gonna be random because when you're spam- I was spamming uh, Baron Lane so much and I kind of forgot, and that my mindset, my mindset shifted to Baron Lane. But for the sake of the video and, you know, a great conversation about Nami and, you know, stuff there for that video, we'll talk about it. Um, now that we got that out of the way, I need to ask something. These gameplay videos are kind of like a podcast. Oh, I get caught here. Woo! I get caught here. Woo! That ult saved everyone because of the disarm girl. Uh, look at that messy fight. Oh, what, the, one thing I want to talk about is what do you guys think of like a podcast like video? Like just me talking but different topics but that's not league related but there's gameplay in the background. What do you guys think of that? And then I'll lower the gameplay, hype up, up the music, and then it's kind of like an ASMR thing. What do you guys think of it? Um, I don't know if you guys will reach this part of the video, but I just want to know. <laughs> I just want to know because people like my voice. Someone fell asleep. Your team has someone, someone I, so, a subscriber told me they fell asleep. They fell asleep and missed their extra class because they were watching my video. I don't know if I should be offended. Or I should be honored because you know my I didn't know my voice could be like that and everyone says that you know but you know let me know 
Um, I just want that feedback because, you know, I hate, you know, not, you know, getting feed. I, 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 I hate not knowing what you guys want, but I do still do my own thing. So, yeah. So what have I learned today? <laughs> what have I learned today playing Baron Lane? Practice, 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 practice. Another thing I want to say that I need to learn, I can't 1v5 everything. There's a lot of moments where I go in thinking I could fight. Like this situation over here. This is a good example right now. That was a good example. The reason why I did it is because this. I still have that support mindset. I need to really stop thinking about support. I mean, look at this. Um, The vein popped up. See, she got a quadra from it. So, you know, there's some benefits to um, that. But damn. There's a lot of things I need to learn. And I'm really excited for this journey. And I hope you stay with this journey. I hope you don't unsubscribe because I'm not playing support as much. You're still getting support videos. And of course, you're still getting the iconic skin reactions, skin reviews and stuff. I may start a new series about skins. Like, should you get this skin? And then, like, it's an old skin that already came out. It's not a reaction. And we break down the stuff. Like, we break down, is it for you, etc. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of, like, a skin review. Is it for you? One skin, a video thing. And that was the match. So let's look at the end screen. Okay, so, you know, obviously the bot lane did well. Kind of missed that. Um, you know, that duo used, that duo we used to bot lane. He found someone else, I guess. And I'm here at the top lane. Oh, well. Learning process, learning process. So, yeah, I mentioned that video. If you guys want me to do a skin review of an old skin on Wild Drift to see if it's worth it for you, let me know. But, yeah, that was the video. Um... <laughs> If you guys have any advice of barreling for me, let me know in the comments uh, below again, once again. And if you guys liked the video, like it. If you don't dislike it, make sure you subscribe to the notification bell for never upload a new video. Like I mentioned earlier in the intro, I do Wild Rift videos. And I do... Oh, I burped. And I do mostly gameplays. Skin reviews is my popular one, so I do that as well. So I want to expand on it and stuff. Um... If you guys want to join my Discord, link is in the description below. I also have a coffee slash PayPal if you guys want to donate and support my channel in the long run. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.